Hello and welcome to this episode of Demystified as we explore home cooking in a modern world. Hello, I'm Linda and I'm here with my friend Paul. Hello Paul. I'm laughing. This is take two people. Take two. We did a really, our second most brilliant podcast. And the sound well, that's easy work. to say now that no one can hear it. <laughs> that's right. So That's right, and no one can hear it. Yeah. So, hello. Friday fun one. Friday fun one. I don't, I don't feel like we've got anything to talk about because well, we just talked about what it. Well, we just talked about before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did bring up the fact that um, I had remembered the first meal. Oh, yeah, that's right, you weirdo. That yes. you had... Because uh, we were talking about reheating food and... And then we were looking for a topic and I said, I have one. And this was the topic was that I can remember the first meal where I had eaten, been with you in the restaurant, eaten in your restaurant. And I said, this is so good. My husband's coming in. He's been away for a few weeks traveling. Um, do you do takeaways? And you said, oh, not normally, but I, I can. And you put together the meal and you had very specific instructions on how to heat it, which one to heat first and which order and how to then serve it up. And it was so good. It was so fantastic. And I followed the instructions implicitly. And um, Of course you did, because your recipe following is outstanding. <laughs> no, no. It wasn't a recipe I had to Eggs, follow. It was just instru- syrup. It was just, Do I need to go it was just instructions. So it wasn't an actual recipe. Yeah. It was just heat one for <laughs> six minutes and 20 seconds. Heat two. Yeah. Sorry, and I'm, I'm being mean. when Dougie sat down to eat it, um, he loved it. And I said, what do you think? And he's like, you didn't cook this. I'm like, what? How can you tell? He said, yeah, you no. you got to love Doug's honesty. Sometimes, no. Yeah. He could just lie. But it was so good. And, and then we got talking about how through the pandemic yeah. in Melbourne and probably in around the rest of Australia, but particularly in Melbourne when we were in lockdown for such a long time, a lot of restaurants turned to that as their income source. And yeah. how fantastic. And we were wondering whether that was going to stay. Yeah. Well, and it was really good, but the point being for us and for our audience or some of our audience who have combi steam ovens Mm. was the, and a lot of people have been sold off the back of like the ability that a combi steam oven has to regenerate food. And it's a weird word, right? Well, also this idea that it's cooking everything on one tray yeah, I know. You know that, but that's a, yeah, that's, but that's a different, different thing. But different topic. But, like, well, but certainly the, the regeneration part of steam yeah. is like super beneficial. Like really does work. Um, you probably would think that, ah, yeah, okay, well, how can that help? But it really does really work. Does. And it's prime example was uh, today. Yesterday <laughs> you ordered dumplings for 500,000 people. <laughs> Um, and there was just, some left over today. It was a simple mistake. <laughs> yeah, there was. A simple mistake. Yeah, from communication me. broke down. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a few leftovers today. So what we did was uh, we had some crispy dumplings and some steamed dumplings. Um, so I fired up the combi steam oven for you and Penny and did the regenerate, um, the and crispy they were regenerate. Yeah, and it, it works. And the, particularly around, it's already hard to reheat food that's been cooked right food that has been fried in particular yeah. is i find it's very difficult to reheat and i and i would suggest most people are like me you turf it like you you don't keep your leftovers well, not fried yeah no. not fried because it's, no. it's almost impo- like how do you reheat that mm. well but it, it it works. Like well, you it, did. I actually thought you were cooking them on the stovetop, and I wondered because you were. I know you're prepping for tomorrow. Yeah. And I thought, oh, and when Penny had come in and asked you, I thought, oh no, and because she was going to put them in the microwave, and yeah. like, no, no, no. But uh, they came out of the steam oven, and they were as hot, and they were as good in the combi steam. They were as hot, mm. and as good as they were yesterday. Yeah. So it is a. It is. You know, it was fantastic. Like I say, it's a hmm. added bonus to what a, we know is a pretty good cooking tool already. Yeah. Um, you know, and I've said for a long time, and I've done a lot of cooking demos in front of a lot of people, that, like, I, it's a microwave killer, combi steam, for me. Yeah. Like, I, I find it very difficult to find a use for a microwave. 
I mean, I've got one in here because I had to do some microwave yeah. recipes, but there are only a handful of things that a microwave can do yeah. that you can't be stand up and can't. Now, everyone comes to me and says, like, oh, I use it to reheat my cup of tea. Mate, make a, make a new cup of tea, seriously. But, like, mm. okay, so, but microwave is a true convenience product, I think. Like, it is a true, con- like, it is just providing some convenience. But I think if you are using your microwave to reheat leftovers, and look, we all are guilty of cooking way too much. I'm exactly the same. You get, cook way too much for your audience and you have leftovers. Why Why is it that they can't be, they're not going to be as good as the day that you cooked them, but why is it that they can't be at least better yeah. than what you would get out of a microwave? And that's where... Steam comes into it. I mean, something braised, so what you're going to go home with today, mm-hmm. something braised, you could quite easily, and if you wanted to, to make your life easier, I actually think I'm going to change the way I'm going to tell you how to okay. do this. But you could quite easily just throw it on steam and, and reheat it that way. Now, yes, in theory, you could throw it in your oven and reheat it that way, but what you're going to do is reduce the stock, that the braising liquid, too much. It's going to get too powerful as the flavour goes, mm-hmm. probably too salty. It's a really high temperature you're probably going to get some crisp on the outside, which you're not looking to do with this particular dish. Um, so I think there's, yeah, it's really well worth just not forgetting if you've got a combi steam yeah. oven, just don't forget. You've just got to apply the right functionality. So, you know, breads and things like that. Obviously, if you hit them with steam alone, they're going to go soggy. So use a combination mode, you know, dry heat and steam together. And, and generally, I would say a high level of steam. So you want quite a bit of steam going in. So if you have the ability to select a high, medium or low or a percentage, um, select a, a high end percentage with yeah. a high temperature um, and you'll get your bread back, your deep fried items, whatever it might yeah. be. Anything crispy that you want re-crisped, um, that's really good. And things like bowls of rice, pasta, um, any of those other sorts of things, steamed dumplings, just go mm. with steam. And reheat them with steam straight up. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. been it's been a, yeah. We use that a lot. I mean, a lot of people say you're not cooking it again. You kind of are because you you're putting it under mm. the pressure of heat, like the ingredient or the bowl of pasta, as an example. But if we take a bowl of fried rice, it's probably a really good example. People have leftover fried rice, like it's a Chinese takeaway or whatever. Um, you know, you've got some leftover fried rice. The next day, you stick it mm. in the microwave and you hear it. It sounds like it's popcorn. Yeah, mm, right. Yeah. And then you give it a mix and it's kind of cold on the in the middle and like lava on the outside. <laughs> you know, so yeah. it's... And that's where things... You have problems with, you know, mm. food poisoning and all manner of stuff. While your combi steam oven isn't as fast, because of the efficiency of steam, you're going to get a more rounded, better reheat, and it will be heated yeah, properly. All the way through. Yeah. yeah. It will be heated properly, so it's therefore yeah. safer. Yeah, because it's microwave's fault that you don't heat it up properly. No, because, it it, yeah, because people yeah. are constantly used to... like. T- show me one person that owns a microwave that looks and consciously makes an effort to change the wattage input of their microwave to what they're heating. You can do that? Yes. <laughs> Everyone I, goes... I never knew. It's as, just on, yeah, full, yeah. for how long? 900 watts, 1100 Whatever watts. Whatever it is. And when yeah. it's like lava, you're like, oh, that'll do. You know, like... Yeah. Actually, in realistic terms, if you want to reheat... Do that. If you want to reheat with a microwave, what you're better off doing is dropping the wattage significantly in your microwave. So most what most microwaves will have a wattage capability anywhere between 80 or 90 and up to 1,000 watts. No. Yeah. <laughs> Just, okay. I mean, some some will have less capability, yeah, but okay. most ha- come with the capability of being able to... So it's consider the watts like a temperature on your oven. Yeah. You can turn it down and you can turn it up. Who knew? Yeah. Um, so if you are reheating in your microwave, drop the wattage down and just reheat it for longer so that it gets hot mm, okay. all the way through. 
The problem is this microwave works on extremely high amounts of energy and it's energy yeah, on the outside. And you're hoping to penetrate, get that outside energy, which is heat, into the middle. And you're hoping that that penetrates through the food, which is why you get such inconsistencies where the outside is burning burning, and the middle is cold. Okay. So if you drop the wattage back, you have lower amounts of energy and it's transferring over a longer period of time, which okay. means you get more even heat or temperature through well, the food. Who knew? Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, no, but, some but, more useless information. I know I exactly know. what you're going to do when you get home. You're going to go above the fridge, start playing with the microwave, going, can I drop the wattage on this? Yeah, I've never, never even thought of it. That microwave that we have would be 20 years old. I still reckon it would probably have the capability to... Well, the, the car that I bought it with, I've got a car and they were giving away freebies. Wow. You've and, got a microwave with a car. And the car There's a promo has for not, Porsche or Ferrari or the, and McLaren. And the car has not survived, but the microwave has. Yeah. And, like, it just does not. We go That's through one every seriously. couple of years here and we hardly use it. Who's, like... Like, really, I know. Microwave with a car. I know. Okay, well... I'm just saying, it's about 20 years old. The car's long gone. Probably longer. Yeah. The car is long gone. And the microwave is still there. Doesn't get very, doesn't get much use. But it doesn't necessarily work. mean to our listeners out there that if you see a promo, you should buy the car. You should buy the car just to get a free microwave. And if someone out there can send us any information or a screenshot or something where someone is still doing that, I would love to see it. Even if it's like a secondhand car dealer around the corner. I want to know who's giving away kitchen appliances with a motor vehicle. <laughs> well, it was it was a choice of three kitchen appliances. Oh, wow. I know. And this was like a really cheap little car. It would have been shorter in length than the bench here. It was just that it fitted all Dougie's music gear in. So anyway, but I got the, I got a microwave. What were the other choice. two choices? Oh, I can't. I, honestly, I can't remember. I think it, it wasn't... Uh, they were cheaper than the microwave. Yeah. So you but, just went uh, for the most expensive well, thing. Well, my friend... You're a snob. No, my friend Shane, who uh, you know loves cars and yeah. was helping me buy the car at the time, he said, we're not having that. We're getting a microwave. And I'm like, we don't need a microwave. He said, shut up. And I uh, got the microwave because that was part of his negotiation mm. skills. And it's still there. The car has long gone. So your homework this week is to go home and see if you can figure out how to if, it's possible, it, if it's possible to change the wattage on your okay. 20 plus year old It's got to be at least that. Yeah. Okay. And if you can't figure it out, then I'll go over and have I a will, look because I would place money on the fact I that I will you take a screenshot of it and, and uh, mm. rather than you coming all the way over. Yeah. From, but anyway. But so, who knew? I didn't know that. So yeah. thank you for that. And um, what's on for you apart from the fact you've got an event tomorrow that you've been prepping for all day. Yeah. Today? Um, not a lot this weekend. Not a lot. Sending you home with some stuff. So I can't wait. I'm yeah, so excited. Yeah, we've got some... Um, yeah, we've got, we're going to do quite a large sort of download, I suppose we would call it, of new posts and tutorials yeah. and information. So we've got some uh, hot and sour braised short ribs. Um, we did, I used the steam oven to make a creme anglaise ice cream base. Um, that's a bit of a tutorial coming up. Uh, there's Ooh. a Satch Tort recipe, which has been sitting there for a while, but we haven't uploaded the recipe. There's a few other bits and pieces yeah. coming. Um, and then we'll start looking at Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. No, I think it's... Um, I, and we have had discussions yeah. about you cooking um, an alternative type Christmas because... You know, yes, yeah. it's, it's just a different thing, you know, and it's a different year. A lot of people I know, for a number of reasons, you know, pork is off the menu, and oh, well, I just and think, so, and like, there's a lot of recipes a, yeah. out there about that, and you yeah. know, you know, this is Dougie's favourite, you yeah. know, roast of all, but um, and, yeah, and, and turkey and ham and yeah, yeah, well, it's all been that's also pork, yeah, but lamb or yeah. other other forms of meat yeah. or non-meat yeah but yeah be interesting yeah to so see we might throw together with. a group of recipes rather than yeah. just a, rather Bits. than a, a standard kitchen yeah. uh, you know a standard christmas sort of 
gathering, we might throw together a group of recipes and I'll pick them out and they may well exist already or we might make some new ones. Um, and what my focus might be is the most stressless Christmas day cooking. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, there'll be some After work involved. Year. There'll be some work involved yeah. in um, the preparation of it. But all of that is designed yeah. to make it so that on Christmas day you can actually be a part of if you are the designated cook you can be a part of christmas yeah because everyone's had a shit year let's be honest it's been like or two years pretty much really but this year's been especially in melbourne pretty this has been crap and so i think everyone's looking forward i think that's a really good idea because yeah keeping it simple just getting together is really more important i think the emphasis on for us is just really Mm. The importance of having ham and white wine for me on Christmas Day is pretty oh, no, that's, high. <laughs> like it's, that's true. It's pretty well, high. Well, white wine, rosé, red, yeah, you know, I'm all there. Yeah. But it's, you know, yeah, I think this year will be more important for us. Yeah. It's going to be just actually seeing people and catching up and, yeah. you know, just wiping off this year and saying, well, thank you. It was just, we got through it. It's been it. a gas. Thanks, it's guys. Been, yeah, who knew yeah. again? And let's write it off and move on. Yeah. So we'll, yeah. we'll have a look at that and we may well come out and we may well come out with something as far as the, we might just call it the easy Christmas. Like, who knows? Something, yeah. But we might put together a, a group of recipes. We've got information there about your, your favourites. Yeah. Um, you know, we've done whole turkeys, we've done turkey roulades, we've done yep. oh, they, I do love that turkey roulade. Glazed hams, that, you that know. Fantastic. So we've got the we've got the traditional stuff there as well, but yeah, maybe if everyone's feeling like I'm feeling coming up to Christmas, which is like oh, do I really want to put myself through an entire Christmas feast? And I'm not being lazy, but I just kinda of think, yeah. And I think everyone will probably have a different Christmas this year. Yeah, you know, still a I bit, think so. You know, so we might just cater to what we think might work. We'll, well see like what for happens. an alternative. It's just an alternative to yeah. that full... And we have, you know, our friend's uh, son is in Queensland. We're not even sure that even though international borders may open, yeah. that the interstate borders will open and he may not be able to get down here for Christmas. It just... Yeah, it's all... Knows? Yeah. It's all weird. But all weird. either way... I think you're right, so that'll be nice. And maybe we'll have to look at what Santa brings us. And we've been having some technical issues. <laughs> maybe no, we need to get not, some... <laughs> it's not the technical issues, it's the two numpties trying to run it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I do remind you when this happens that you are a chef and I am an accountant. And yeah. we are not necessarily, you know, well trained in the art of podcasting techniques. No, not at all. But we've somehow managed to fumble our way through put together over 80 episodes and um and all this time so we're doing okay yeah so thank you everybody thank you for uh attending today mr mountain (laughs) it's very formal (laughs) well you know and it is friday and it is late and um it is so happy cooking happy cooking everyone happy cooking everybody and um more on linda's microwave next week we'll see how it goes i'll check it out when i get home yeah take care everybody bye bye Thanks for listening to this podcast as we explore home cooking in a modern world. We'd love you to subscribe and for more information, please go to our website, cookingwithsteam.com.